Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see deploy and manage device control in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint with Microsoft Intune. So what exactly is device control? Device control capabilities in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint will enable the security team to control whether users can install and use peripheral devices like USB, CDs, discs, etc., printers, Bluetooth devices, or other devices with their computers. Now, security team can configure device control policies to configure rules, like it will prevent users from installing and using certain devices like USB devices. So, I'll just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the Microsoft Intune Admin Center. And we need to understand the device control policies as well. But when you are under uh, on the Intune portal, just click on Endpoint Security, go to Attack Surface Reduction. Under Attack Surface Reduction, click on Create Policy. Windows 11. And under Profile, under Attack Surface Reduction Rules, click on device control click on create mention device control and under the configuration settings we'll see a list of settings you don't have to configure all of these setting at once just consider starting with device control so data protection defender removable storage devices and this is device control right Data protection, data guard, storage, we'll see, we'll see, this is the device control. Now under device control, click on add, the name here, it says the field or the name is required and you'll see set the uh, reusable settings, excluded ID and then the entry. and set the usable settings configure entry add it says allow deny audit allow or audit deny i will say audit it is the options that you need to show notification access mask define the access when it's trying to read or write or all of the actions right here is the identifier local user set or user set group or the state of the AD object defines whether to apply this policy over a specific user or a user group. And here is the same for the computer state as well. So I'll just save it. You give it a name to this. Okay. And and if you'll see, these are the device installation restrictions. These are the removable storage access. This is the Defender, Data Protection, DMA, Guard, Storage and other settings that you can enable. You click on Next. You go for Tax. This is the assignment that I am not applying it to any specific group. Uh, to a specific, specify the group of users or devices to receive your policy. I am not doing that. I am applying it on hold. So this is the, uh, if you'll see the settings that I have enabled, you can enable anything. And then when you'll hit save, this policy will be created. Okay. This is the device control policy that will be created. Now, if you want to understand device control policies, so it will control the, the default behavior. So now when the device control is enabled, it's enabled for all devices type by default, right? So the default enforcement can also be changed from allow to deny. And uh, the policies, the one that we have just created, they just further refine the access to devices through device control policies. As you see, the policies, the, the policy that I've created defines a set of rules and groups on which it will be applied. Though I did not specify uh, the 
this SID or the device ID here, but I would have mentioned that and it would have applied to that specific user. And under assignments as well, I've not specified a user or a group ID. Okay, although uh, to following the best practices, I would have created an entry with the set condition under this rule. So here, right? Under here, if I, here, I would have created an entry to specifically apply that policy onto that group uh, or a computer set. On Mac, we use Intune and target the policy to a user group in Entra ID. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you uh, about the device control policies. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.